just a dead man walking. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh. This is Native Nomads. Today I have with me Cohen. The I can't think of a good name for you right now that I'm allowed to say on camera, but we are in <laughs> we are in the desert of Arizona, and it feels good to have the sun blistering down on us. Are you sunburnt? Yes. Very sunburnt. Hanging out by the pool, got a little bit crazy, accidentally fell asleep, and uh, now his legs are fried like a lobster. But today we are going to be exploring some old mines, yeah. some missile sites. Um, we are on BLM land just outside of Tucson, and it is a ghost town. Quite literally, there is nobody around. It is a Sunday afternoon, and we wanted to take some time away from everybody, go get in the Subaru, and just beat this thing up. Cohen today is going to go undergo some driving lessons. Yeah. He's going to get some driving lessons today. I've drove before, but, but not like in an actual room. Have you ever driven up the side of a mountain in a car? No, you said I ain't. Because I wreck. And yeah. I doubt that. Yeah, whole wreck. I, I'll highly not doubt that. Highly not doubt that. Yeah. I'm not sure that's what you meant to say. That means we'll let it I roll. Will. We'll let it roll. We're not going to redo this. Everything that you see today is going to be real live in action. So we're going to air down these tires. And we're going to get moving towards this abandoned mine. And Cohen is going to climb in it. I brought the climbing ropes. I'm going to repel him down. Whoa. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, but that's it. We're going to have a great day today. I'm excited to have you guys along. We're going to put the Outback Wilderness in uh, X mode today probably and just see what it can do. Have some fun. Happy to have you along. I already said that once. Arm's getting tired from holding the camera. So uh, let's get this show on the road. All right, so I get a lot of questions about airing down the tires. And today we're going to do it with a knife because I don't have my air down tools. But typically in the front, I, I always do all four of them between 15 and 20 PSI. Depending upon how much weight I have in the back, depending upon what type of trail we're going to be on, the 15 to 20 is always a good, uh, a good mix. But I do a little bit more in the back than I do in the front. So if I do 15 in the front, I'll do 17 in the back. If I do 17 in the front, I'll do 18 or 19 in the back. Because generally I have more weight in the back, so that's something that you can do. I would recommend picking up a pair of Ston tire deflators. They are in the van. I thought I had an extra pair in here. I usually have them in all the cars, but I think I left them in the power wagon. So today we're gonna to use a knife. I'm gonna teach Cohen how to do this. And then he's gonna go around and help me out because I don't wanna do all these by myself this way. And uh, that should make things a little bit better. You just push in on that. Yeah, I, I did it with the pen. How far do I wanna go down? I'm gonna turn it on right now. Oh, I need those keys real quick. So this first this first sight is a bit underwhelming, but just behind me on this concrete pad during the Cold War the United States government would load the missile chemicals in the event that we would ever be under attack during the Cold War, we could respond with a missile within 58 seconds from this site. And this concrete pad is where they would load the chemicals into the missile. Now that only happened a couple of times per year. It wasn't an all the time thing. The guys would basically dress up and look like uh, astronauts in spacesuits and load the chemicals into the missiles. Now, I was under the impression there was going to be a missile site where they were going to have the missiles, and there may be. So, we're going to go check that over here just to find out before I give up hope that I see some t sort of uh, missile propulsion system. Can I budge in? Yeah, budge in, man. When we're walking over here. There is a walking trail that leads to. There's a walking trail that leads back there? Okay, well we're going to check this site out because I would really like to see a little bit more. But there's some more big signs here and hopefully I can give you a little bit more information about this place and what was done here. So what's well, your theory? The, the door 
would be anywhere, but the signs, both of them stacked on top of each other, would be that big. Doors probably as wide as that. Yeah. You go in, walk down the stairs, missile area, and then you walk again, and you have this whole living room area that's like where you can stay down there for like I don't know how long, like probably years. Did they have food? Yeah. Is this all your theory or is this fact? We need to be sure we're. I've seen some. I've seen. <laughs> A YouTuber have a missile silo. Okay. So they have like the missile area and then they walk across and okay. they have like their whole living room. Alright. So that's Cohen's theory. Get down. All right, we are almost to, well, we hope we can get to the abandoned mine. We gotta take this little road right off over here, and that should take us up to where the abandoned mine is. And we are out here, minus this crazy child of mine, tearing things up, running around on the rocks. It is so peacefully quiet. We are up, tight up against these mountains just behind us, this would be such an epic place to camp. Now, for the record, I think it's fair to say, and we should probably say this, for pretty much the entire day, Cohen's been driving. Busted. <laughs> but there's a reason why. And do you know the reason why I'm allowing you to drive? There's two reasons. Reason number one is that it's good experience, it's safe, nobody's around, um, and getting skills driving off-road I feel is important. Number two, this goes back to the preparedness thing. If something were to happen to myself or his mother or our daughter and we had to tend to that situation, I need him to be able to get us out of where we are safely. And the only way he's gonna learn those skills is if we put him in the driver's seat and we just let him rip chicken because being prepared out here, anything can happen. I'm not saying it will, but I'm saying it can. And if it does, I want that young man to be able to get us out and get us back to safety while we worry about the other situations that may be going on. Something to think about if you have children around his age. He is 12 and he has just driven an entire day pretty much, except for two sketchy spots in uh, some pretty decent, decently rough terrain. So, okay, back to it. Um, we're headed to the mine. Let's go check this mine out and then we got to get back because it's dinner time. We're late. I already knew we were going to be late. It's just kind of the way it's got to be today. All right, well, that last little clip you saw the Subaru, if you saw it, don't know if you saw it, it, uh, the trail ended. So, and... Now we're on foot. And we really wanted to see this mine, so... And they blocked us off twice with boulders, so we're just walking now, <laughs> waiting to get to the mine. This was definitely a trail at one point, but it has been heavily, um... Hard. <laughs> heavily, uh... uh I don't, 
<laughs> not, boulders. not a breath. This is our second multiple mile hike today, and this one I did not expect. But uh, yeah, it is definitely barricaded. They do not want people coming up here in vehicles. You can look out above the valley. You probably can't see it, it's overexposed. Tucson is way, 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 way down there. And we are way, 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 way back here. Up here. Um, and we have about another mile, I'm gonna say. That's not bad. And we're, we're trekking hard. So we're gonna probably put the camera down until we get to the mine, but it's that way. And I, I, that's all I know. I've never been here, there's no real maps. We're kind of just winging it. It's about almost six o'clock. It's gonna be getting dark. What Guys, do you got? make sure you like, like and subscribe and turn on all <laughs> post notifications. He just watches a lot of other YouTubers. I don't usually say that, but if you want to like and subscribe, turn on all post notifications, I'm not gonna be upset about it. Jack, yeah. Look, the captain looks like it has eyes and it's screaming at you. You see the yeah. eyes? Yeah. Creepy. Is there anything in it? Where? Found Where? This way. Come on. Dude, I found Can you get in? Yeah. Really? Yeah, somebody busted it open. Ow! Real ways. Get your head in. Oh, no, I smell. <clears throat> Look at that. Dang. You want to go back there? No. Because it'll collapse? Could. That is crazy. That is wild. Look at that. Oh. oh, I can see it all the way back there. That is crazy. Well, it looks like it gets dark. Oh, yeah. Holy. Open it, yeah. We made it officially. Driving school is now over and we are headed back. The desert is beautiful. The sun has set just beyond those mountains right there. 
two mile hike that we didn't expect to get into because of the wild man himself. But at the end of the day, it was absolutely fantastic. This little section of trail just outside of Tucson, if you are interested in that, please leave a comment and I will share it with you. I used Onyx Off-Road today. I'm not sponsored by Onyx Off-Road, but this was the first time I gave their platform a shot and so far so good. It worked really well. Co made several comments about how well that it worked and I would have to agree it worked really well um, and I'm happy. So I paid for it. Wanted to see what it was like. Um, I will do some more information or give some more information on Onyx Off-Road if you guys want to hear about it. If you're out traveling this area, I'll be happy to share this trail with you and how to get to the mine. It's a pretty strenuous hike, but it's a lot of fun, especially if you have kids. Um, take them. Show them something. Show them something new. We're going to get out of here. We appreciate you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.